McLovin motor. On this episode, I am uh, installing an Alt Rider skid plate on my 2017 Honda Acura Twin. As you can see, it comes packaged really well. Here's the uh, instructions and the bracketry. And this is the part I want to see. Man, look at that. There's the Alt Rider skid plate. You can see where it's been welded there on the inside. There's the there's the bottom of it. I went with silver. Um, they offer it in black also. I'm excited to put this on. Man, that's a big piece compared to the factory one. When I get the factory one off, we'll uh, we'll look at it. Because um, uh, the factory one is tiny on this Africa Twin, and that's one of the reasons why I'm uh, why I'm changing this. Uh, I want to do some uh, BDRs, some backcountry discovery routes, and the Giant Loop ride, and and do some moto camping. And I'm worried about. I'll show you. I'm worried about this exhaust right here getting hit and damaged. And I figured it'd be cheaper to buy a new skid plate and put that on than it would be to buy a whole new exhaust system when I mangle it. Also, you know, worried about hitting the side cases on a tip over. And so I'm hoping that this, uh, this skid plate from Alt Rider will, uh, will make a difference. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to start working on this and get it get it ready to be put on and uh, I'll get you in there to, to see what I'm doing. There's the bracket that goes up underneath. I think I'm going to have to undo my, unfortunately I have to undo my uh, crash bars to get this on. So this could take, this could be a little bit of work here. Okay. So the first thing it's telling me to do is install, came with these adhesive strips. They're telling me I need to install these in a couple uh, distinct locations here on the bottom. So I'm going to do that now. It looks like on the outside of these bolt holes or these uh, these screw places they want the they want it, and then they also want it. Let's see, this goes this way here and here on this bracket. So let's do that real quick. Looks like right here on the edge. Imagine that's to uh, reduce some vibration and noise underneath the underneath the bike when this is all on. And then the other one looks like they want it. Ooh, right there. Okay, so there's the adhesive on this plate. It looks like based on the diagram, if I lay this correctly, they want it right here. The other one they want over here looks like right there awesome use five millimeter five millimeter allen wrench to remove the three m8 button head screws and remove oem belly pan you will not reuse these screws so let's take a look at that yeah i get to lay on the concrete uh, i should probably change my oil on down here huh that would be wise. It says three. Where are the where's the third? I see two. I guess we'll find out, huh? Say three. Oh, there's one up by the shifter on the other side. This bike has 3,500 miles on it. It's not too gross and dirty underneath yet, thankfully. If I uh, oh, there's a lot of crap in there. Goodness. Bunch of rocks. There's a uh, a washer. I wonder what that's all. <laughs> I wonder where that's supposed to be. Oh man. There's a bunch of crap in there. Interesting. Oh yeah, there it is. Kind of hard to see. It's right underneath the shifter there. Right here. Oh, that one was tight. doesn't help the weight of the skid plates hanging off of it. Wow, there's a lot of rocks in there. I'm really surprised by that. There we go. 
drop that right down oh yeah there's the uh, the bolting position for the crash bars oh another another rock anything else want to fall out on me anything else all right so let's look at this real quick because I'm curious now check this out there's the alt rider plate there's the Africa twin plate there's the differences between the two look at all the crap in there a lot of rides worth the garbage interesting they want this one out see that one this one out so and they want it in this one it's through there we go Hi. Saying hello? Yep. Okay. I make uh, loving fans. <laughs> yeah, that's right, huh? How are you? No, please. No, please. Is that too big? It is. What size are those? Yeah, it's that size. Yee. I shouldn't. I've not had these off since I've had them installed, so uh, we'll see. Maybe it's good that I'm going back through and tightening everything. Well, I mean loosening now, but tightening later. Okay, instead of doing that, why don't I just do this? That seems like that would be simpler, huh? Let's loosen these up some more. Huh. I wonder if those bars I just put on are... Hey, another rock fill out. Great. <laughs> so many rocks and a bunch of crap falling out of the I think maybe what I can do is shove that bracket up inside there and then reinstall these bars I hope those are long enough alright so there's the hose bracket that's off so now I need to loosen the right rear frame bolt that's what I said which one is that so these are the these are the bolts that I need to undo on this side here's these front two and then here's the one we just took off from the bottom so that's this is what I'm working on right now oh boy yeah oh maybe that's tight Ah, there we go. Woo. What's wrong? Oh, this is tight. <laughs> tight, I tell you, tight. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Lordy. Whoa. Hey, come back. Come back. Goodness. Oh. Ha. Ha. I get it. Okay, learning lesson. Don't be like me, watch this. Let me show you something, folks. When Alt Rider says take the rear one off, they actually do mean the rear one. This is the one I should have taken off. This one, this one's loose, right? But this is what you need that back piece to go onto with the grommet. So you've got this grommet right here, and it slides over this, okay? And then the front one bolts to that. So don't be dumb like me. Do it correctly when they say the back one they mean it, and then the grommet goes on there. So um, that's why I'm bringing you in here, guys. I'm showing you how to do it. Give me a minute while I uh, put this back together. I'll try to do the right one, shall we? Shall we do the right one here? Don't be dumb like, like McLovin. McLovin makes mistakes, so you don't have to. Outside one is a 17, inside one is a 14. I don't think it said that in the, in the directions. I think it said they were both 14s. Okay, so, you gotta take this back one off. What a pain in the neck. There we go. That's more better. Helps if you know how to use a wrench. 
We over here at McLovin Moto, we're not a mechanic. I'm a novice. Now, I should try to do this correctly, which is this goes on there. And this one goes right here. Come on. Get on there. <laughs> you son of a gun. There we go. Okay. Let's bring you down here and show you what I'm talking about. It's bolted through, and then you've got this grommet right here. That's got to be on that uh, little nubbin, I would call it. And then this side is going to bolt like that with the crash bars and it'll all bolt together. And I don't think I'm going to get this completely tight because I'm going to need to get the other side set up. Okay, let's go over to the other side. So there's a, there's a note here and it says if you're installing, if you're also installing the alt rider lower crash bars, pause this installation and move to installing the lower crash bars. They use the same mounting points. I installed those a while ago, so hopefully the bolts are the correct length and everything goes together as it should. So on this side, what we need to do is this bracket needs to go up here. Uh oh, no, up here like this, I believe. backwards goes like this yes yes is that correct it is that my friends needs to go holy moly there's a lot of crap goes through here just like so your hoses go through that it goes in the in the inside your bracket for your skid plate goes in the middle and then your crash bars Go on the outside all held together with those bolts so let me get that put back together all i know is really this isn't a bad this really isn't a bad install this is pretty quick and easy remember i need to tighten those Can you see those i'll show them to you in a second Really not a bad install. Like I said, I already had the I already had the crash bars on here. And I think these bolts here came with the crash bars, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, oh, it's been a while since I put all this on. Okay. Happy with that. Oh, let's get this upper one. So hopefully I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna tighten these back up with the right wrench, of course. Man, this thing's gonna be protected, ready for some off-road fun. I'm just uh, thankful it hasn't uh, caused me any heartache already. You saw the rocks in that skid plate. That was pretty amazing. I was uh, kind of surprised by that. There we go. Okay. That's tight and right. Now, I think it is mounting the actual skid plate, which is the easy part maybe. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out here in a minute. Let's get some more light on this. Shed some light on this uh, situation. Okay, here's the M8 cap screw. I got two of those. And then I got four of these flush mount black ones. These are gonna go in the back of the skid plate. The big ones go up here, cap screws. And then the small ones go down here so they're flat against the bottom of the of the skid plate. A little razzle dazzle on these uh, bolts here. It'll help me fun to take off later. Right, right? Okay. Now the fun part. 
Holy moly. There we go. Sorry, I'm totally blocking the view, guys. There. Okay. I just wasn't doing it right. I just wasn't doing it right. Got a little, little dabble, do you, right? I imagine. Like so. Hey, those are right where they're supposed to be. Uh, uh, maybe. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Don't, don't fight with me. What size are those? I wonder. Smaller than this. If you're wondering, that's a five millimeter, like a glove. See if we can get these other three in, huh? Man, this is a cool skid plate. It's a monster. Goes way back. Man, this is cool. This is way cool. I like it. Really not hard to put in if you follow the directions and you're not dumb. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Guess what, guys? I'm gonna have to take her off. Because, remember when I said I was gonna come back around and uh, tighten Tighten that bolt back here. Well, I didn't do that, and now the skid plate covers it. So, reverse. At least we know it fits now. Ah, I'm glad I thought. Glad I thought about that for a minute. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's do this again. Ready, set, go. Get one of those back ones started, it really helps. That's the way. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. That is quite the skid plate. I mean, that takes up the whole bottom of it. Way back deep on the bike. Covers the exhaust. Really covers the whole bottom of the motor. Covers up way high on the exhaust in the front. I'll give you guys a tour of it here in just a moment. Get these ones in. Nice. done it's in so there's the skid plate look at how deep that goes back on the motor that goes way back there but it covers way up on the bike grab the light come over here look how high on the high high up on the motor that comes goodness that's cool and then, for those of you that didn't see the other video, I just installed this center bar, firm up the whole crash bar system. We'll go back to this other side. There it is on the other side. Alt-Rider crash bars, Alt-Rider skid plate, and the alt rider rear rack thanks for watching everybody appreciate you uh following along this is a little bit of a long install uh i'm sure i'll edit it down some thank you for uh thank you for coming along and watching me install this alt rider skid plate if you wouldn't mind hit the subscribe hit the like button and uh i will catch you later thank you